Everyone, Game Master Cody here again, and now we are going to we're going to about to battle Kronos, and this is a really crazy boss fight. Just gonna the sheer magnitude of what's going on. And use that. As you can see, the head of Helios to uh, blind him. Buttons on the screen. Damn mortal! You will suffer when my sight returns. There's some skeleton warriors to deal with. They're pretty easy. And deal with these guys like normal. Go ahead and deal with those guys. Let's get going. Show yourself, Kratos. Kronos has some serious skin problems. <laughs> and really bad breath, but he's powerful enough to kill skeletons. Take off his fingernail. Come on, Kronos. There we go. Keep on cracking at it. Then we can grab it. Yeah, this is gonna hurt. Now we've officially taken him off. Get away from the shadows, clearly. We climb up here. Blind him again. Smash the button on screen. Deal with these guys. Just take them out. At this point, they'll fall really easily because your blades are very powerful. Jump up the gap. There we go. Glide over here. Show yourself, Kratos. Now we got some stone talos to deal with. Give yourself a little breathing room. on the screen, it's kind of hard to do that. And now we've cleared all the enemies, let's open this little hatch. Yeah, let's clear this thing out. It's really gross. Let's 
Try and break this. Of course, you won't be able to. Clear out these enemies. And prepare to Well as soon as you crush these enemies. I will make you into a bloody stain. How Kratos is able to stop this? I haven't a clue, but that's pretty awesome. Now we gotta save ourselves for being crushed and give him a taste of the old blade of Olympus. Just fight some more enemies. I just throw them away. <laughs> Quickly. Move over the way, you don't want to get caught by that. Hit triangle to take him out. And this part is going to be really gruesome, so you've been warned. Because this is very painful what he does to Kronos. He's about to get the worst indigestion ever. lets anyone be after Duke finishing them. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and power up our Nemean Cestus while we have the orbs. For a more powerful attack. And the last one's going to require 8,000.
And we get Crushing Strike. It's a pretty good move. Let's break this apart. is really hurting. Break that apart. Come across his face. Blade of Olympus and charge it up. And say goodbye to Granddad. Although I always kind of wondered how his side got healed from when uh, Kratos cut himself out. Oh well. Got plenty of orbs. Now we come down back down here. Kratos! You sent me to my death! No, no, no. Calm yourself, Kratos. I knew you were up to the challenge. I truly needed the old fellow stone, you see. Make it quick, old man. <laughs> A weapon such as this can't be rushed. <clears throat> this will be worth the wait. A fine weapon like no. And we get the weapons. Yeah, it's your retribution. And Hephaestus betrays us, which is only which is really bad for him. can only mean one thing. Hephaestus must die. And we light this up. And Hephaestus just had to go and do that, which means we had to kill him. Unfortunately, he was actually kind of cool. If you see, like, if you do damage to Hephaestus, you'll see him. We just broke his neck. <laughs> At 
Those are very fast weapons, even faster than the Blades of Exile. But let's go back over this little gap to get Hephaestus' ring. What it does, it, it automatically lets us win all the context-sensitive attacks, like the mini-games and stuff. You automatically win them with, with his ring on. Pretty, pretty nice. So, I mean, you just sit there and just don't do anything and you automatically win. There's the Nemesis Whip, new, our latest weapon. And while the speed is fast, I prefer the Blades of, Ex the Blades of Exile. There's what's left of the Festus. All you had to do is leave us alone and we wouldn't have had to kill him. What will these people learn? Go back up here. Back to the chamber. And this time the button sequence would be a little bit different, and the minigame is back activated, and you get full experience for the first minigame again. So let's quickly do that again so we can get some more orbs. Again, you've been warned there. You, you know the routine. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, This is a quest to beat the game, so that's what we're doing. <laughs> but now we got now. But the Nemesis Rage actually has really good magic. The Nemesis Whip is yours, Kratos. Those who stand in your way will feel its electric sting. Builds up quick damage. Definitely the combo machine. And we can use it to activate this, uh, to activate the, ah, oh, man, that was an accident. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. Go ahead and spin this around. Now we use the weapons to activate it like this. And we can make it rotate around. And we're good to go. Here's an interesting little puzzle room. Can... 
go ahead and break open. If we raise this up, it breaks down the door. And now we have our uh, test on how to get things. Rotate this. That way, remembering to use the right analog stick to rotate. Now we can climb on that rope. Let's move quickly through it. Chest. Chest the last organ eye. And there we go. Now we'll reactivate it again. Climb up here. Now, first, we got to go back down, though. There, now we can break through the secret gate. Because we're on a time limit here. two chests. And we open this to get Daedalus' schematics. And it would have had a Gorg it would have had a Gorgonite, but we already maxed that out, so that has the last Phoenix feather. Now we do it again. Wait a second. That's right. This part can get a little tricky. Let's lower this down first. Rotate this back around. And that gives us access to that. I just remembered something silly. Let's break this, get the chest. Then we glide back over to the chest to the string. Get these two. Get a minotaur horn. 
so we can upgrade our uh, item bar. Which we have three more horns to get before they it matches our magic and health. And I did something silly. When I forgot about that little portal over there earlier. We activate this again. And what I should have done was go through here, then come back around to the rope, and there we go. Now back here we have a plethora of chests to get, with plenty of experience. In fact, each chest has 1,250 red orbs. So that's pretty much 5,000 experience for you. And now that we have that, we can unlock Nemean Cestus to level 5. And there we go, we have all the essentials maxed out. Which increases our magic on that to brutal. And I'll upgrade the rest as I see fit or as I care. So we pretty much have everything we need. So we come down here, jump backwards, of course, to get some more chests and a Minotaur horn. Another 1,250 experience. Break open some little chests. Your simple mind will never find a way out. I look forward to watching you die here as an old man. I think hair is a bit upset. <laughs> Let's go and grab these chests first. Experience. 
go ahead and take out that person. Let's go ahead and get another chest. And deal with these dummies. Whatever you see fit. I think that's everything. Yep, some more orbs. And there we go. While I have them, we'll go ahead and max out the three, uh, the three side things, like the Bow of Apollo. Price 2,500. This does increase damage. Head of Helios, also 2,500. Increased damage. And the Boots of Hermes, increased damage. And Hermes Jest, also 2,500. And now we get a new move. Which means you can, uh, it rushes forward and lasts longer. But there we go. That's the three little side items to max out. I guess... I guess I'll max out Nemesis Whip next. Doesn't really matter because I'm going to use the Blades of Exile and uh, Nemean Cestus anyway. But there we go. It's all that maxed out. It's a good safe spot. Let's go ahead and get the last special item. Gives you. Let's go ahead and save it. Hang on. Show sure what the last two items do. Daedalus' schematics allow infinite item use, which I mean, that's kind of silly because items recharge really fast, but oh well. Then the most useless one Harris Chalice causes a health meter to slowly drain, never emptying it. That's, I don't know why they did that. It's literally the most useless one ever, but I figured they'd make it useless because you get it automatically. We've clicked all the Gorgon Eyes and Phoenix Feathers, and two more Minotaur Horns, and we'll be done here. And good stopping point. We'll save it. And there we go. Game Master Cody signing out. I'll see you on the next video.